Good day. This is Dr. Ligardo R. Palaka Jr., Assistant School Principal 2 of the Senior High School Department of Dr. Cecilio Potong National High School, Tagbaran City, Bohol. Welcome to the next episode of our channel. For today's episode, I will be talking about and sharing the same time experiences about how to make our students love research in the same time discuss topic like why students don't like research. So are you ready now? Okay. So last year, July 2018, I conducted a research entitled the Research Culture of Manga National High School, Tiburan City, Bohol. The major findings of the study was very alarming. Among teachers, they said that they don't love research. And how could we develop a positive attitude towards research among our students if our teachers don't love research? So the, five, the four reasons why research is difficult to develop, a positive research culture is difficult to develop in the public school is because of the following reasons. Number one, research is expensive. Second, it is tiresome. Third, teachers are not interested and not motivated to conduct research. Fourth is they are not skillful. And this negative attitude towards research is also shared among our students. However, students have no option in the senior high school department because Republic Act 10.533 or the Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013 one of the emphasis is on research, and students must take at least three subjects in research. That is why it is necessary that you, students, must have a positive attitude towards research. So let's venture together, and I will be discussing about certain tips on how to develop a positive attitude among our students in research. First is start them young. So in our classroom setup, as young as grade 1 or even kindergarten, we can develop a positive, atti positive attitude towards research. We can integrate research across the curriculum in all your level. So I would give you an example. So when you give an assignment to your students or learners, do not just limit the sources of information in their books. You have to encourage our learners or our students to go beyond the textbook. So for instance, they would be interviewing a resource person or even their grandfather or their neighbor about a certain issue in the community. Like, for instance, what is the most obvious problem in the community, like environmental problem, and how can we solve it as part of the community? It can be developed in your classroom. Do not, again, do not just limit your assignment or activities, those that are found in your textbook go beyond your textbook okay next encourage collaboration and communication among learners people are social being and according to studies we learn when we are with other people so when you assign certain topics in research you can actually do it by pair or by group but because of pandemic we are department of education prohibits the the group setup but in the normal setting if our students are grouped together, they would learn better. So for instance, one group of students from one community living in one neighborhood can be grouped together and assign a certain topic. And that is a good thing because the research would be more on contextualization and localization. They can select a topic that is found in their community and as a group, they can look into the answers of your questions. So other than developing positive research skills, they're also developing their socialization skills. And that is a very nice impact of research. The third tip that I would like to share to you is encourage innovation in research report format. So the standard format of research report is the encoded bounded research output. If you want to develop innovation and positive attitude among our students towards research, we can 
actually get away from the standard, especially in elementary. Why? Because we have the technology that could enhance the research presentation of our students. We can use Google Slides or PowerPoint presentations and other format or medium that could enhance the presentation of the research report in the same time show the creativeness of our students so as they go along the way as they step up on the ed educational ladder then we would uh, slowly introduce the proper formatting because we cannot get away with standard but if you want to start in the elementary about developing positive attitude towards research we can enhance the research presentation of our students by encouraging innovation in their research report. The fourth one is promote quality resources. Again, promote quality resources. So the typical resources are those that are produced by experts in the field, like research reports in the journals or in the books and other printed resources. And those are actually good sources of information but we can enhance we can extend i am a personal advocate of utilizing the resources in the community and the best resource in the community are the expert the experience and the learned people that can share more about your topic so why not utilize these experts why not use the experience of this resource person and this can actually promote a, a more quality research output. And the fifth one is introduce research across the curriculum. Because as a research teacher, I personally experience it that research is just being focused in the research subject itself. But if we want to develop a positive attitude among our students in research, we can start a program that would look into the interconnection of research among subjects like social studies and english science and english mathematics and social studies or tle and science there are certain topics that can be interconnected okay a good practice is being started now in dr cecilio putong national high school wherein in practical research one there are at least three teachers one lead teacher that would discuss the basics about research another teacher that would discuss statistics and formatting another teacher would look into the technicalities so it is a teamwork a composition of teacher experts that would lead the students towards the production of a quality research output and then the sixth one is the it is really very important the sixth the, the the sixth tip that i would like to share to you is very important because the common thing is when a group of students or student is done with his research presentation or with his research uh, output what will happen it will be bounded and it will be displayed in the library right what for for show for our accreditors nod positive nod that hey you have uh, an ample supply of researches but the question now is are those researches being utilized by the community are people benefited with the research findings of your of your students perhaps no because they are just in the library so the best thing that you can do to encourage positive attitude towards research is to organize research activities that would present the research findings of our students yes you have to organize a research colloquium or a research forum or a research congress wherein the best researches of our students would be presented in public and you can invite experts community people and people who are interested with your topic and the research output can be shared can be can be spread and perhaps with that research presentation you can help the community and on the end product of our students they would develop many skills in communication being confident in presenting their output developing positive attitudes towards group activities and many more skills and positive values 
Okay, so I'll be going to the, uh, the, the, the last tip that I would share to you. And I would say this is the most important. Why students shared a negative attitude towards research? Because teachers themselves have negative attitude towards research. So if we want our students to develop a positive attitude towards research, start it within you as a teacher. Okay? So you have to model yourself of a positive attitude towards research. Do not tell your students that, hey, you will be taking practical research one and that is very tiresome and you will be stressed and I will be, I will be laughing because you will experience the same thing that I experienced when I took my master well. Do not let our students think and feel that research is a burden. Why not develop a concept that research is an opportunity for our students to learn more about the realities of life? That research is an opportunity to open other avenues. I would like to, to tell you something. Because of research, I was able to visit many countries. I was able to earn money because of sponsors, because, of, uh, because I was hired as a research consultant. So there is actually money in research. Okay? So that's all for today. And if you want to learn more about research, very simple, subscribe to my channel.